a Tangy Tales version of summer reading program. This summer we're imagining our story and so today I wanted to use the flannel board to imagine a little bit of a story for you. Um, now I'm going to use different felt pieces to tell the story but only you can pretend in your head how it sounds and how it smells and what it might feel like to be in it. So I want you to use your imaginations while we tell our story. Are you ready? Okay, so once upon a time, <laughs> there was a mommy pig and she had lots of little pig babies. And three of her boys were really ready to leave the pig pen and go out on their own. And so she took her sons, the three oldest, and she sent them on their way to build their own home and make their own life. Well, the very first one to go was a little bit of a lazy pig. And he, he knew he needed a place to stay, but he didn't need anything very fancy. And so he decided that what he was going to do was to build a house of straw. And the reason he decided on straw is it wasn't very heavy. He could take a whole house full of straw in just a few loads, and it only took him one day to build his house. Well, the other brother, the second to the youngest, he wanted something a little bit nicer than that, something a little more sturdy than straw, because straw, it just blows right away in the wind. If a storm comes, rain could go through. And so he wanted something a little bit nicer, but he still didn't see any reason for fanciness. So he decided that he would build a house out of stick. And it took him about a week. He had to go back and forth to the forest and gather some sticks. But by the time he was done, he had a very nice home and he felt like it was extremely comfortable. But the third brother, he wanted a very nice home. And he wanted something that was gonna last, that he could bring a wife home to and children and have a safe place for he and his family so that he could have his own little piglet someday. And so he decided, <clears throat> to make a house of brick, but it took a long time. He could only carry one or two bricks at a time and he had to walk all the way into town and all the way back with each brick because it wasn't something he could just find laying out in the field. He had to go to a brick maker, but he still did it. The younger brothers would laugh and be like, oh, you're so silly. Why do you need anything so fancy as a brick home? That's, there's no need for it. But the oldest pig, he felt like his hard work would be worth it. And so after a month, he built a beautiful brick home. And he knew that it would keep him safe from any predators that came along. Well, while the pigs were building their big and beautiful homes or their modest stick homes or their rather easy straw homes, there was a wolf and he was watching and licking his lips because do you know what pigs are? Pigs are bacon and wolves love bacon. And so he was thinking, if I could just get in those homes, then I could have me some pig for dinner. Well, the pigs went in and it was nighttime and time to start making their dinner time. And the wolf decided he was going to start with the very, I'm gonna scooch our, our brick house down. You cannot scooch a brick house this easily, but we're gonna do it this time. Y'all just pretend with me, right? We're imagining our story. So I'm gonna give us a little more room. So our wolf went up to the straw house and he knocked on the door and he said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the pig inside peeked out his window and said, that's a wolf. And he said, uh, I don't think so. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And so the wolf said, if you don't, I am gonna huff and I'm gonna puff and I'm gonna blow your house down. And the pig said, well, I'd just like to see you try. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew and the straw house blew clean away. The little pig ran to his brother's house and he hid inside the stick home. Well, so along came the wolf. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Now I've got two pigs. Two pigs is better than one pig. And so he trotted along until he got to the pig's stick house. And he said, knock, knock, knock. 
Little pig, little pig, come on, open the door, let me in. And the pig inside, who had made the stick house, the second brother, said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, okay, if you don't let me in, I am going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house down. And the pigs inside just laughed because they were sure that the stick house would last. And so he huffed and he puffed and he blew the stick house right down until there was nothing left. But the two little brothers ran to the brick home and they knocked and their brother let them in to keep them safe. And they said, please, please, there's a wolf at our door. And so their older brother said, okay, fine, come on in. It's safe and sound in here. Well, now the wolf is getting kind of greedy and he just comes right along and he says, aha, three pigs for dinner. And he says, knock, 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 little pig, little pig, open the door and let me in. And the oldest pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, if you do not, I am going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house down. And the oldest pig said, go ahead and try. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew and the house didn't move because the oldest brother had made his home very secure and he made it out of brick and he took his time. And so the wolf said, I'm gonna try again. I just, I was just didn't get a good breath. And so he huffed and he puffed and he blew again, but nothing happened. Huh, I wonder what I can do. I still really want those pigs, thought the wolf. And so he called in and he's like, I'll get in eventually, don't you worry. You're not smarter than me, oh pigs. And the oldest pig just laughed and said, well, go ahead, but don't try the back door. And so the wolf said, ha ha ha, I'm gonna go in the back door. And so he went around and he knocked on the back door but it turns out the back door just led to where the little pig stored his bricks. And the next thing you know, all oh, the bricks had fallen on the wolf's head and he, oh! So he got out of those and he escaped and he said, little pig, little pig, you better let me in. I'm not happy now, I've got a headache, I'm all out of breath, I need to come in, I'm gonna eat you for dinner. And the pig said, I don't think so, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. And so the wolf said, all right, I'm gonna come up with a new plan and I'm gonna get in there. And the oldest pig said, well, don't dig under the house. You'll never get in that way. And the wolf said, ha, I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to trick me. I'm not going in the house, under the house. I am going to go in through the roof. And so the wolf climbed up onto the, seal, onto the roof and went down the chimney. But the little pig, the oldest one, was very, very smart. And he heard the wolf climbing up on the roof. And so he built a fire in the fireplace. And he said, that wolf's gonna come down that chimney, but he's not gonna like what he finds. And so the wolf climbed and slithered and slid and went until he was almost down the chimney. And then, oh no, psh, right into the pot of hot boiling water. And he said, oh, and went right back out the chimney. And the last the three little pigs saw was the wolf just a running down the road, holding his hot booty, because it was really, really burned. And the three brothers stayed in the oldest pig's home until they, could build their own brick homes. And they laughed and sang and worked together and raised their families safe and sound and never did a wolf come back again. So what do you think? That's my version of The Three Little Pigs. In our story time, which is in the next little um, section of this track, you are going to hear the wolf's side of the story and we're gonna do some songs and things like that as well. And then finally, we'll have a craft where we make a, um, a pig paper plate. So we're gonna make our very own little pigs. 
So I hope that you'll come back for those. But otherwise, I hope you're having a great week. Enjoy your summer. And I miss you guys. Come see me soon. Bye.